रिसेंटली मैंने जेई एडवांस 2023 ऑल इंडिया रैंक जित विलास भैया के साथ एक वीडियो बनाया था इंटरव्यू वीडियो और उसमें बहुत सारे ऐसे कमेंट्स आए थे कि भैया आप इसका पार्ट टू भी लेके आओ जिसमें आप पूछना भैया से कि भैया ने लास्ट एक दो महीने पहले रिवीजन कैसे किया लास्ट टू थ्री मंथ स्ट्रैटेजी किया था जेई मेन्स के लिए उसके साथ साथ अगर भैया के बैकलॉग्स थे तो उन बैकलॉग्स को कैसे कवर किया और भैया ने क्या क्या बुक्स फॉलो किया ऐसे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन इस पार्ट टू वीडियो पर क्लियर किया जाएगा ये वीडियो को एंड तक देख लेना टाइम की कमी हो तो वन या टू में देख लेना बट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट साइटफुल वीडियो होने वाला है सो वॉच टिल एंड उसके साथ साथ एंड में आपके लिए एक सरप्राइज भी है इस वीडियो में सो एज यू सेट जस्ट दैट नोट मेकिंग इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट सो सम ऑफ द यूट्यूबर्स है क्रिएटेड दिस हाइप इन यूट्यूब आफ्टर बेसिकली कोविड दैट नोट मेकिंग इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट सो वट एडवाइस यू वुड लाइक टू गिव दिस स्टूडेंट नोट मेकिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट फॉर द सेक ऑफ रिविजन बट फॉर द सेक ऑफ Uh, if you write something once, I don't know how, but you'll just get memorized. I mean, uh, you'll memorize that particular thing, especially when you write it on your own. Like what I'll do is, I I used to miss out on making running notes during class, so I used to just understand the concept of whatever they're teaching and something like that. When I do the revision myself, I used to like find a lot of new things, uh, whatever I've learned, and I used to forget something. So whichever things I used to forget or whichever things I used to learn new, I used to just write them down in your notebook. I used to write them down, and I I wrote a lot of, I mean, uh, random. Like for one chapter, I used to write two, three notebooks or something like that, hundred pages once. And I used to not revise them later, but still they helped me because whenever you write them, you'll just uh, memorize them automatically. That's the point of writing things. Okay, so note making is ultimately very important for your preparation, isn't it? Yes, but it it depends on you how you want to write your notes. it's not like you keep the heading and all those things different people have different techniques like i used to write random notes like whatever i used to not recall i used to write them down something like that okay yeah. and my next question is like how many hours you con- uh, dedicated to each of the subjects like maths physics chemistry um, there's no specific something like that but in 11th class focus a lot on maths and in 12th focus a lot on physics and chemistry okay so there isn't any such thing like today i'll do 3 hours maths 2 hours physics yeah you can just divide your day into slots like let's say you want to in this week there is a lot uh, you find the maths topics difficult in this week and physics and chemistry slightly easier in this week so you can divide your day like let's say you have 5 hours of free time i will spend 3 hours of maths i'll solve this particular book it's and for one and a half hour i'll solve physics and some half an hour of chemistry division tomorrow you'll do different like you gave chemistry less today so you'll do a lot of time for chemistry tomorrow is this in the week, in the whole week you need to balance it so that whatever topics are there in the week they are getting covered so yeah. daily based on what you have to solve you should divide your time abhi uh, chit vilas kya hota hai maximum students ko backlogs bahut hote hai even jo online karte hai unko aur zyada rehta hai even shayad tumko bhi hua hmm. hoga i don't know so backlogs hmm. ke liye matlab kaise cover kar sakte hai exactly backlogs karne ka sabse best tarika kya hota hai okay um i'll give an example like mera ek chemistry mein ek chapter pura hi chhut gaya tha backlog mein so how i covered that is like in the revision phase jab wo aaya tha chapter me bahut din like uh, let's say one two days pura wo chapter hi kar raha tha aise kuch aur wo week mein bhi zyada like that in that week i spent a lot of time on that chapter so like you may think like uh, there is a lot to cover but agar tum kuch time spend karoge like spending the time is more important thing if you just spend time on that backlog it will get completed definitely in some time so if you have some backlog uh, if you have a lot of backlogs and dot stuff you need to prioritize like which backlogs are important like let's say some chapters are there some random statistics or some chapters in maths that are backlogs for you and but some other chapter is it like integration mein kuch part tumhara backlog hai so is don mein tum prioritize karna ki okay integration mein ye zyada important hai so i'll stop my work and i'll first cover that backlog and after that backlog is done i'll continue my whatever uh, preparation was going so i used to just stop all the rest all things and i used to cover the backlog whichever was important in my priority list and then i used to cover my preparation if there are some low priority backlogs then i used to cover them later so even if you have some small small backlogs in first year don't worry because you'll get time in revision phase to cover them and if you have let's say some big backlogs then uh, put your put more time on it and you cover it up and then you go on again to preparation something like that okay so what's the exactly like the importance of pyqs most of the students skips this pyqs part they consider solving questions yeah. other than that like their modules question or 
some other book questions. Okay. Uh, PYQs are like most important, like one of the most important things of my preparation also. Like for JE means all or anything advanced, especially for advanced, if you ask, then I'll tell, don't see any previous year question until the last four months of your preparation. Like until the last phase of your 12th class, don't see any previous year question from 2010 to 2023. And during the last four months, give them as a paper, like the actual final day paper, as if you are giving it final day. Give one paper from 9 to 12 and another from 2 to 5. So PYQs are helpful in analyzing yourself. Like if you solve some module or something, you don't know for sure whether such type of questions are going to come or which thing are going to come. So you cannot analyze yourself properly. With PYQs, you can properly analyze yourself because that was a paper set by the real organization. So you won't get any good papers as the ones that are set by IITs. So for J advanced uh, PYQs are very important and for mains also they're very important for practice. Even if you're unable to cover many things, it's fine. At least till 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. These four years, cover as much as you can. Like I covered 25 papers or around that. So have you followed any paper attempting strategy during your papers? Like first physics, chemistry, then that. Something like this. Yeah. Uh, initially, I had no strategy, but I made it up in the last six months. It was PCM and I stick to it in the last six months, including my final day. First physics, then chemistry, then maths. And this is also one important thing that on the exam day, you shouldn't be confused of which thing to choose. Or you shouldn't be like, after I see the paper, I'll decide my strategy, like which CPM or PCM. You should be predetermined. Like, I'll first do physics, then chemistry, then maths, irrespective of how the paper is. Only then you'll have the confidence and you'll go in a flow. Okay. And how you used to revise your chapters, basically for your coaching mock test. Or any other mock test? So, for chemistry, uh, I used to like, mostly it was, uh, in organic chemistry, I used to go in flow, like whatever chapter was done, I used to just memorize the logics and mechanisms in the chapter. But in organic chemistry, it was random revision, like you can't just stop on one day and I'll do this, these four chapters. Uh, what I used to do was, on some random day, if I found some time, I used to go pick one book and I used to complete one chapter from there. So in that process, like whenever I used to get time, I used to pick one chapter and complete that chapter. Spend some hours on that and finish the chapter. So going through, going through, just all the chapters have got finished. So in organic chemistry, just randomly pick a chapter and complete. For organic chemistry, I used to just uh, read along with the chapter. After the chapter is completed, I used to just analyze all the logics and things learned in the chapter. And it used to stay for a long time. You need not revise it again and again. In maths, also the same thing. In physics, it's about practice. As much you practice, as much you'll remember. Okay, and how you manage your board preparation during your JE preparation? Uh, boards were it's just easy, like right? normal stuff. I spent like some days on that, 10 days. अगर आप भी ऐसे ही ऑल इंडिया रैंक देना चाहते हो तो उसके लिए चाहिए आपको प्रॉपर मेंटरशिप और उसके साथ-साथ कोचिंग भी चाहिए प्रॉपर तो आप फिजिक्स वाला के टॉप एजुकेटर से पढ़ सकते हो जो आपको फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथ्स पढ़ाएंगे यहां पे उनके कुछ बैचेस हैं जैसे प्रयास जेई फास्ट ट्रैक बैच जो ड्रॉपर्स के लिए और 21 सितंबर से स्टार्ट हो रहा है जिसका प्राइस बस 3500 रखा गया है देन लक्ष्य जेई फास्ट ट्रैक बैच 3200 में 12th क्लास के लिए 18 सितंबर से स्टार्ट हो रहा है वही अर्जुना जेई फास्ट ट्रैक बैच 11th के लिए है और 3200 प्राइस रखा गया और 18 सितंबर से स्टार्ट हो रहा है बाकी इसके साथ-साथ आपको पॉकेट कोर्सेज भी मिलते हैं जहां पे आपको वन शॉट वीडियोस मिल जाएंगे जस्ट 49 रुपीस में कोई भी चैप्टर के 11 एंड 12 के और उसके साथ-साथ इनके मॉड्यूल्स भी है जिसका लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा अगर आपको इनके बैचेस परचेस करना है तो मेरा कोड यूज कर सकते हो रित 150 टू गेट एक्स्ट्रा डिस्काउंट लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बेसिकली व्हाट डिफरेंट यू फॉलोड फॉर जेई एडवांस जेई एडवांस प्रिपरेशन बेसिकली ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वन और वन मंथ ओके तो I need not buy out all the chemistry in everyday life and all those things. And uh, for advance, it's more about maintaining your flow in the last 15 days. Like, let's say, like, you need to be properly, with, like, as if the final day. I mean, I'm telling about the last 15 days. This, you, every day, you'll give one paper from 2 to 5 and one paper from 9 to 12, something like that. So that you, you get ac accustomed to that timing. And you give a lot of tests in the last month. Not for the sake of practice, but for the sake of staying active, like in the time of nine to five, so that on the final day you'll be active in that time, something like that. 
and for the preparation i would say for j after the j mains was done we gave all the pyqs and what's different is just uh, the paper in, in, with respect to the topics nothing is different but with respect to just solving like entirely solving things are different in j mains and j advance so it just solve the type of papers related to j advance and get away from j mains mode and come to j advance type of questions mode that that was a difference in the last four months okay so the final question for this session uh, what advice would you like to give to your juniors okay um so don't worry much first thing don't take much stress and uh, second thing most important thing for j preparation is your uh, perseverance and your belief like that you'll do it most people struggle in this thing that they cannot stay with their schedule or they cannot stay away from their distractions or such things so if you are really uh, interested in like you want to crack ge like with uh, dedication and perseverance then if you just try to maintain your schedule i mean it won't be perfect obviously there will be distractions there will be all those things but just try to minimize them and try to stick to your schedule and preparation and it'll just go fine and uh, don't take a lot of stress and so that's it just stick to your preparation and the result will come on its own okay and thanks a lot chidvilas for coming for your time specifically yeah. and best of luck for your future thanks again thank you